Yo, what is going on guys? This is Capki. I'm back for another video and in my last video I said that I would do a tutorial on how to install shaders. So let's get right on into how to install shaders in Optifine 14.4. I want to say before this video starts that this will work for 15.2 and into the future for shaders. So if you're watching this at a later date, it should be the same, but let's get right on into how to do that. In the description below, you guys can click on the link at the top. It should be a breakdown.xyz and it will be a list of shaders. You might have shaders that you want to use that you already have downloaded. You just didn't know where to put them. So you can use those, I'm sure. But I'm just going to show you how to download one. I did a clip before um, the clip that I recorded for the intro is actually using this one. So we'll just use this one and do a different variant of it because there's multiple. You're going to click on it and then you're going to click down on this download button right here. You're going to go on the website. I did this one and I'm pretty sure I did high. So let's just do medium. So you're going to click on download. It's going to bring you to like an ad fly looking page. Like I mentioned in the last video, um, you're just going to have to click skip up in the top right hand corner. Once you click skip, then you're going to click download again. And then you're just going to want to drag the downloaded file down there in the bottom left onto your home screen just to make it easier. Once you have that done, you can then X out of all the spammy looking things that it opens. And then you're just going to want to type in percent sign app data percent sign and then click enter. Minecraft should be the top folder because it has the period at the start. If it's not at the start, just scroll down and look for it. You're going to double click onto the folder and then you're going to have a folder named shader packs. If you have Optifine installed, you can just double click on that. And then you just want to drag your file right on into the folder and then you're set like so. Once you have that done, you can exit out of that folder and then open up Minecraft. Make sure you're using installation that has Optifine in it. If you don't have one of those installations, go back to my last tutorial and then you can see how to install Optifine properly. You, you should have one that's just named Optifine, so we'll use that one for this clip. Once you are into Minecraft, you are going to want to follow these steps. Then you're just going to click on options, video settings, shaders, and then you're going to want to select the shader that you want to use. For this case, because we did the medium, I'll click on medium to show you that it actually works. Then you're going to want to go into your actual world. I just want to note that if you have a lower end computer and you still want to use shaders, you should use the BSL. It will be the fifth shader on the list of that link that is going to give you the best FPS. This one's a little more intensive. However, it looks almost the same as when I recorded the intro clip. Can't really tell a difference. Maybe there's a little ones that you guys can notice, but I can't really tell. And if you guys are curious about this world, this is the University of Minnesota. Um, there's a group that play Minecraft that are actually making this. I haven't built anything here, but it looks really Really, really similar to campus it's still not done but it does look really really good and if you guys were curious this is where I go to school however if you guys did enjoy today's tutorial and it helped out a lot make sure you guys consider leaving a like it would mean a lot to me and also consider subscribing for future tutorials and video content once again this has been Capkey. I will see you guys with another video and tutorial sometime soon peace out